Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. So there was a, uh, in Pennsylvania, there was a man and his son. They were walking in the woods trying to, they, their ball went down into the creek and they went down to, re, re, to, re, to retrieve it. A father-son game of catch. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, Billy has the arm of a stupid head and threw it right over dad's head into the into the ravine boy i hate kids so <laughs> so so they go down there and they see something wrapped in plastic and it is looks like a human body all right one of the a forest dryad <laughs> yes exactly is that not right no so so they call the cops mm-hmm. they come out they take a look it's just a realistic sex doll that somebody left out in the creek. Yo, fam, what is with people dumping their sex dolls all of a sudden? Is that, have you heard this more than this? Like, I've heard multiple stories in my lifetime about people just dumping a sex doll or somebody, like, coming across a sex doll, like, by the tracks. What is, is that how you get rid of your sex doll? <laughs> you don't throw them in the garbage when you're done with them. You just take them somewhere and leave them. So You know how expensive those things are? Uh, yeah, I mean, any sort of, like, giant... It said this thing's thing weighed, like, 50 pounds or something. That's so what I'm saying! They said it was very detailed all the way down to its French pedicure. That's ridiculous. And you just throw it out? Why? Take it out into the dirt? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, So, okay. There's, this is a numerous layer, right? So, I mean, yeah, definitely. So, first off, you have to be like... <laughs> I want a sex doll. Yeah, that's the first step, right? Yeah. Then you spend all that money on it. Then you're willing to take that out into like the dirt and and do whatever you do with it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like that's a whole nother level all of right. like because I think about myself. Would I want to take my lover to the creek and have sex with them in the creek? No. No, no. Well, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's start at square one. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start off initially. The mind of a person who buys and dumps a sex doll. Okay, I want to build. I want to build a profile. Buys or buys and dumps. Is, buy. we're, yeah, we're getting there. Okay. We're getting there. Okay. We're gonna get there. Buy, buys and dumps. Oh, oh the, okay. Okay. okay got so you. step one. Hey, you want a sex toy? Perfectly fine. Women have a bunch of sex toys. There's a stigma over men's sex toys. I don't necessarily agree with. No, man. Like if you want to get your rocks off, get your rocks <laughs> off. So do whatever you want. So you decide to go to uh, Amanda's closet, your local sex store, and you spend how much? Is, how much? Oh, is... I don't know. Yeah, but I guess our point is, yeah, we're not shaming the dude for buying the doll in the first place. Yeah. Um, I, I would. I mean, I would say maybe a cheap one is still a few hundred dollars. Even, yeah, if, it's probably even, even if it's very cheap and not well made. Yeah, some of the ones that are more detailed, you're looking like twenty five hundred dollars. Right, but I would say an investment. Yeah, let's say a thousand bucks. Which is still probably on the low end, but sure. Yeah, well, you spend a thousand bucks, get yourself a great sex doll. You don't need girls so no more. So if I spend a thousand dollars on anything, <laughs> I'm taking care of it until it breaks. How do you break a sex doll? <laughs> I don't know. I've never done one. Okay. So, anyways, okay. So you spend a thousand dollars on a sex doll. Okay. You take okay. it home. You dress her up. You don't need women anymore. You said because now you have your now you have your boo. Yeah, you don't need them. You're happy. Can I? Can I? T- can you hold that? Thought? I have a tangent for one second. Oh, go right ahead. I saw an app that popped up on an ad. Yeah. For for they now have AI virtual girlfriend app where you like it creates a woman and you like as you talk to it it like oh, it replica. Talks to- replica is that what it is yeah and like i guess it has a subscription service or something people were like okay so anyways go back to the anyways so you so yeah that you know (laughs) that's honestly more uh more more of a depthful relationship than you would achieve with a sex style yeah yeah absolutely so i don't know like do do we go home do we talk to the sex style well, have you ever seen those like weird like I- I'm like it's almost like a hoarder show, but it's like I love my sex. Like it's they'll uh, yeah I've seen those yeah I've where they that. like where they actually guy. marry it and yeah, like dress okay. it up and like take it in the car with them and like it gives the names. What do, you, what do you think that is? Because like that's obviously like there's something going on there that like you don't realize that that's like not like normal yeah yeah like what is the issue that like you're like oh it's totally normal to dress up my doll and take it out in public with me and take it to like <laughs> the movies and stuff uh i think that's a fetish is what it is it's it's is a it? it's, it's a fetish that is probably taken uh over you know your your personality 
And obviously, you know, you're going to be ostracized for that a little bit. And that degree of isolation and just depth into your fetish yeah, is going to yeah. lead to you Cause, being cause, that weird person yeah, who has. I'll never kink shame or fetish shame anyone as long as they're not hurting kids or animals or somebody else, right? But I will say that, like, if I went to the movies and there was a guy sitting there with a sex doll, I would judge a little bit. Yeah, I mean, 100%. So then you end up being that guy who has, like, 12 sex dolls, all of them named and have different outfits and, and positions in your household, like a freaking sex doll hierarchy. So, yeah, I don't know. I okay. don't know. Anyways, so so they have the doll. They don't need anyone anymore. They okay. spent $1,000 on it. So we spent $1,000. We take them home. Now we have to just, we have to establish our sex doll hierarchy. So, so. <laughs> but what if they're the type of person that doesn't do that and they just want the doll so then they just like throw it in the corner when they get home? Well, why would you just throw it in the corner? It's a thousand dollar investment. You're going. If I get a sex doll, I'm dressing her up. I'm naming her. <laughs> oh, really? All right. All right. Okay. All right. A hundred percent. And you know what's interesting is that thought never crossed my mind. I was like, not for you. I was like, if I ever bought a sex doll, what would be the point? I never in a million years thought like, oh, I could buy her fancy outfits and name her. I don't know what I. I would just be like, I yeah. guess it's just a means to an end. I'm dressing her up. She's taking baths with me. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking you breakfast. <laughs> wake up. She's making eggs Benedict in the you, kitchen. You damn right. I'm gonna set her up at night so that when I wake up in the morning, I can have my breakfast and sit across from her. Oh Jesus! I, I, You're dude, taking it deep. Look, I feel like this is where it and goes. Then, and then the relationship turns. Yeah. She's talking back. <laughs> she's not. She's not cooking breakfast. She's talking back. You're like, I'm tired of your attitude, Hillary. Yeah. Look, I wish you could just dress yourself. <laughs> Like, remember what it used to be like when you when yeah. we had sex all the time and now you're not interested? No, you're not in the mood now. <laughs> She's never in the mood anymore. No, wait, hold on. Let's reverse it. There's male sex dolls. She's like, Billy, why aren't you giving up your thing to me anymore? Are there male sex dolls? There are yeah, males. There, there absolutely are, yeah. There has to be. Yeah. Huh. If you were to get a sex doll, would you get a male or a female one? <laughs> Why would I get a male sex doll? I don't know. I'm just asking I mean, questions. If it's I mean, an my easy first question. is the question why, then, <laughs> I mean, then obviously it would be a female one. But All like, right. I don't know. I gave you a layup. What do you want? Content. Would you, would you get one of the full body ones or just the torso? <laughs> yeah, I, oh <laughs> Without a head God. or anything. Yeah. Or they have ones that's just the pelvis. <laughs> You know, and this is the thing. It's like women can get away with this because we're going to get to how we end up dumping the uh Yeah, the we'll body. get there. We <laughs> but this is the thing is that women can buy, like, these dildos that look like, like amazing different things. Like, I've seen bad dragons. There's oh, where like, they're all twisted and, like, yeah. yeah there's, yeah, like, yeah. tentacles and tree roots and freaking uh, crosses and Bill Clinton's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barack Obama's fist. And then you buy one pocket pee in Europe near a Yeah, genius. but all the dude <laughs> ones just look, I don't know. It's just like a hole in a block of silicon. And I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> Vaguely shaped like a butt. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want to fuck a hole in a block of silicon. Maybe what do you hope you prefer it to be, though? Oh, no. It's the difference between the penetrator and the penetratee. <laughs> Oh, but maybe I want to fuck something that looks pretty. <laughs> Can a sex doll look pretty? Yeah. That's just the other. But it's like, but here's here's the thing. Like, I feel like a woman, if she wanted a sex doll, she wouldn't buy the full man sex doll. They they would probably rather buy the silicone block with a dildo attached, and they could just I ride guess. it like a whatever, and it wouldn't yeah. matter. They don't need to look down at a doll, right? Well, plus, if, if you're a chick, I don't want to be dragging around a sex doll. I mean, yeah. if I'm a guy, I don't want to be trying to I mean, but, you know, physically, it's not as taxing of a right, 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 right. All right, so, so we, we... So anyway, so anyway yeah, the relationship on, degrades on. into, you know, like every relationship's shit, and we, we got to get rid of her. Is it... it do you think it's a sh ever tied to shame? Because I figure that like, most people be like, you know, you come to your senses, post-nut post -nut clarity, over build up over a number of months, and you're like, okay, well, I got to get rid of this sex style. Um, I figure that may be one of the motives. Wait, say that one more time. Uh, post nut clarity build up over a couple of months, you realize that oh, I like, gotta like get rid you, of this. You eventually shame yourself into yes. getting rid of it. Yeah. So it's a shame based dump. Yeah, or okay. you know, maybe like somebody finds it, like a a family member or a, Ooh, a new let me girlfriend. Ask you this question. Yeah, like like you start you like you're like. I don't need a woman. F women. You're like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm this. I'm just going to be my own self. F women. 
then <laughs> you meet a nice young lady and you're like, oh, we're dating. She hasn't been to my house yet. Yeah. Where can I hide Hillary? Mm. Mm. Can I hide Hillary anywhere? Yeah. I don't have a locker I can sh- shove her in. Her name's Hillary. I yeah. like that too. No, um, that's fair. So see. then he's like, I don't need Hillary. I don't need you. Yeah. Then and then the regret comes when when Donna, his new girlfriend, that relationship doesn't work out. And then he's nah. like, Oh my god, I should have never dumped I Hillary. Never into dumped the... Hillary. So okay, but you so... know Hillary was blown out anyway, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> Was blown out. This is went off. This the rails. thing was like a flat tire, dude. It wasn't even. <laughs> it wasn't as tight as it used to be. <laughs> is thing... that wow? You are you're good rabbit holing on this. What? You're doubling down. You telling me I'm not wrong? <laughs> I don't know. For, I don't know. I would imagine that We've... silicone does not blow out. We've been with Hillary for years. Everything with use degrades the human body. You know, so I'm sure a block of silicone after you friction and heat over. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, we out. <laughs>